Hello YouTube viewers, welcome to my show Science Thursday. Today we're gonna take a look at induction motor, the backbone of our industrial world. So question comes to the mind, why do we need something like that? Well, we have always used rotational energy and for that reason we always need a something that is cheap, reliable and long lasting. So these are the our needs. Who made it? Nikola Tesla. He made two-phase AC motor and he is also the father of AC electricity basically. The entire AC grid is here because of him. So he is the father of it. And then comes question comes to the mind, how does it work? It's very simple. It has only two parts. One is stator, another is a rotor. How do you know them apart? It basically stator does remain static, rotor rotates. That's all you have to know. And it works on the principle of induced magnetism. Basically, this outer coil, the electromagnet, has AC current going through it, so it gets energized. Using that energy, it induces a magnetic field. Magnetic field in the rotor induces a current. That current, in turn, creates a magnetic field, which induces a torque, which basically forces it to twist. Now, if you have single phase motor, you have to have a capacitor to help help it start otherwise it won't rotate it will just keep vibrating oscillating but if you have three phase or even two phase it has a continuous rotating magnetic field so you don't need any starter that's why uh, Nikola Tesla made a two phase motor and the speed of the motor is directly proportional to the frequency so if you have something that is running on 50 Hertz at the same voltage it will run differently versus if you have something that is running at same voltage but 60 hertz it will run differently so this part you have to pay attention to it's frequency dependent the rpm is directly frequency dependent so why do we use it well you have to understand there are many many types of motor i i can't even list them all so let's begin with the simplest one which we call shaded pole motor it's generally used for very low torque needs basically running fans exhaust fan is you will easily find them in microwave uh, inverter and uh, instead of using capacitor they have a what's called basically shaded pole basically there is a small short coil which creates a sort of phase delay so because the if you have the phase directly going to the rotor it will just as oscillate creating a lag sort of gives a rotational energy once it starts going you don't have to worry about it so this is self starting can run for decades and very simple very effective then we come to one phase home use this is very common and they generally employ some form of capacitor or a second winding to help them along and then we come to the powerhouse the three phase now many of you may find it odd that why do we use three phase now the reason we use three phase is not because of voltage it's because of torque now to understand this this is a three phase diagram as you can see the wave is going up and down up and down as long as the wave is up you are getting useful torque out of your motor but the moment it goes down done now the reason we don't use two phase now anymore is a if you you have to design a generator that gives out that we generally don't have that we have three phase generator so for that reason if you have two phase and you space them out correctly the problem is the voltage still dips to this point to zero volt so at that stage in you know if you stretch a second when the voltage goes to zero your motor is not producing any useful torque so that's why we can't use two it still has the same problem as single phase however when you have three at the degree of 120 degrees you can easily get three phase overlap and as you can see at any time voltage never drops from 0.5 so that's why we use three now you might be like why don't go four well that is true we do use higher phase motors but as you can see we are already at 0.5 and making it four will barely push it up a little bit so six phase motors do exist they are generally used in formula e and uh, they give you more torque but don't give you you know day and night difference so from single single phase motor to three phase motor is a giant jump anything more than three phase does not justify the cost that's why we are limited to three phase it's perfectly balanced so users of induction motors are endless basically everything big or small generally has it one way or the other 
and the reason for that is because it does not have any brushes so the rotor works on magnetic induction rather than you know there is a being a brush that is sending the current into it which makes it very long lasting and you might say well brushless dlc motor also behaves the same way and that would be true however brushless dlc motor requires magnets and the magnets are not cheap not to mention they won't last you for decades and decades and decades they lose power over time and BLDC motor cannot go very big because the permanent magnet inside would become a hassle to deal with and that's why diesel locomotives employ motors in their bogies that can easily rate upwards of uh, 2000 horsepower each motor generally we don't go that extreme but we are generally above 1000 horsepower and you can see electric car also uh, you can easily go up to 300 to 500 horsepower and you can even go to thousands of horsepower motor is not an issue bldc making it that big is an issue so and due to its relative simplicity and our advancement in inverter technology allows us to control this motor in very unique ways where we can control torque and rpm independently and this is the reason why they are still being used in industrial applications because we can control the rpm and torque so let's say you are using a grinding wheel you want to have different speed like wood will require different grinding metal will require different grinding speed so we employ variable frequency drive where you can change the frequency and the motor will simply adapt to it so this was my presentation hope you guys liked it or learned from it in that case please like if you didn't dislike leave a comment subscribe because i make video every day press the bell icon so you can be notified and as always thanks for watching